Hello guys and welcome to the video. Today I will tell you how to smite adventures. Shadow over Hercopolis. Nightmare mode. Check out my guides for normal and hard mode if you are looking for help to those difficulties. Pick Kernanus, Honor and Aphrodite. Kernanus is still the best pick for PvE in smite and works just as great in Nightmare as in previous difficulties. He has 25% damage increase not affected by crit and melee range and built-in 15% lifesteal and 25 penetration. Honor still provides 20 penetration and 20% increased damage for himself inside the pillar range with 35% slow. But he is way more important now since pillar is a great zoning and utility tool. And he also has a jump that will help at some stages of the run. Aphrodite is an absolute best choice for a healer in Nightmare, as you need to have a dedicated tank person for hardest parts of the run that she will be able to burst heal and protect with her ultimate. Kernonus is the best choice for a dedicated tank so it's a good idea to give him 3 lifesteal items, complemented with his lifesteal stance and 3 high power crit items for the damage. Honor should have Executioner to provide a huge damage spike for both hunters. Aphrodite should have Shoguns for 25% attack speed increase and Pythagorean's piece for further 10% lifesteal and 20 power increase. Rod of Asclepius will increase the healing that she applies, while also increasing the amount of healing from lifesteal by 20%. Lotus Crown will give Kernonus 20 protections, while paired with Kronos Pendant and Shoguns will provide her with enough MP5 to never be low on mana. Her last item will be Rod of Tehuti to further increase MP5 and scaling on her healing and damage. Nightmare is not as different from the hard mode, yet the health and damage of the bosses and monsters in first two areas were significantly increased. Some new gameplay mechanics were also added and I will try to cover them all while providing as many tips and tricks that you can use for your run to be successful. In Nightmare mode, you should absolutely have all three blessings on you to even have a chance for success. During the first area, you will notice that the damage from the monsters is now somewhat equal to the last area of hard mode. Keep in mind that with decreased to 20% effects from blessings, most of the elite monsters in all areas will deal around 80-90% to of your health with their special abilities, and some will instantly kill you. First thing that was added to Nightmare is found in Frozen Gate area. Bomb will spawn way more often this time, and you should use it to destroy the ice cubes to spawn elite monsters. You will also find two buttons that are now connected to the bridges over the ice blocks on the way to the gate chains. Left button is connected to the first set of bridges on both sides, while right button is connected to the second set of bridges on both sides. You should clear the ice blocks with bombs and then Aphrodite should deliver bombs to the chains while hunters will stay on the buttons and self-sustain themselves with lifesteal. The trick for faster and easier way to do this stage would be to leave Kernanos on the right button for the second set of bridges to be active, while Aphrodite will carry bombs to the ice blocks to spawn elite monsters and Honor will deliver the bombs to the gate chains using his jump to avoid falling from the first bridge. Watch out for the wolves and harpies as they will push you off the buttons. Use your dash or jump on the ice stage to redirect yourself backwards and pick on one camp at a time. You can block monsters near walls and corners with Honor Pillar. Before the first boss, you can stand near the door and immediately rush through it to skip a lot of archers in that part. If you have no luck doing that, you can backtrack here Use one person to lure out few archers at a time while also using Honor Pillar to block incoming damage. During the first boss, healing slime that you need to catch will also apply a debuff that will increase the damage you take from the boss. To cleanse yourself from that debuff, step on the green button in the back of the ship. Slimes will also spawn during the third stage now, so you should time your cleanses to not get caught on the wrong side during the whirlpool. During the third phase, you can no longer avoid taking damage from the Whirlpool, and in Nightmare the damage is too high to sustain yourself through it with lifesteal, so hold the nose of the ship to take as little damage as possible. You can use Honor Pillar to prevent yourself from getting pulled by a Whirlpool even more. Proceed to the next boss and keep in mind that most elite monsters have an ability to one-shot your team. You can pull the monsters away from the Phoenix by jumping through this wall and dealing with the Phoenix later. Boiler Room is the second part where you will find significant changes to the dungeon. There are three buttons on the floor in the main room now. Axe to the right, Triforce to the left and an arrow in the back of the room in the middle. Each path to the obelisk now has three gates that will open when you step on the button that is linked to the gate with a symbol. You should use Void Chat to communicate with your team or you can use VGS attack right, left and middle lane commands to direct person in the main room. 
Sertor damage and health were significantly increased, making him near impossible to tank, and his center stage now has double the fire projectiles to avoid. Yet he is still extremely susceptible to body blocking while he is trying to reach the center for that part. Third area doesn't have any changes except for the increased damage from monsters. Things like Jailer should now be completely avoided as his burst now cannot be tanked. For this camp being notorious for killing a lot of people, here's a tip. You can rush in with all three people evenly spread out to split the damage and not get bursted. Or use Cardinus to pull it and reset the aggro by dashing away from it to honor inside the cage. Kill it for free now as long as Cardinus don't step up too close to get the aggro. Use Pillars to avoid damage from Jailers. Use a pillar to avoid the damage from Bull Demon King, Nemean Lion, and Caledonian Boar. Loki fight, apart from the increased health, doesn't really hold any challenge if you know how to complete it from the hard mode. And if you don't, you should check out my previous guide. Pat yourself on the back as you have actually killed the real Loki and get a high five from the Hercules, which is anyway way more rewarding than the useless avatar that you will get for grinding tens or maybe hundreds of hours to get it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one and as always, have a wonderful day.